Hey everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve, and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last episode, making an EVA foam Hylian Shield Part 1. Uh, we started assembling this piece by piece. We got our border down. Uh, we stacked up our double thick stack for this whole center section so we could cut out here and here to get that recessed detail. Not hard, just take your time. And then we did tackle kind of a little bit of a tough one and that was these scrolly details here where we uh, cut one side of it with the bandsaw and then the other side we had to get in there with the Dremel and cut these edges and then grind all this down to where it's a bevel. Um, time consuming and you had to be careful but not hard. You can totally do this. Um, so. In this episode, making an EVA foam Hylian Shield Part 2, we're going to begin knocking out the entire rest of this thing. Uh, all the rest of it's just single layer, taking our time, sticking it down on our marks, uh, bevel cutting the triangle details here in the middle, um, and we're also going to have to get the Dremel out to tackle these scrolly details down at the bottom just like we did up here, but we can totally do it. Um, so, if you're ready to uh, hit it, let's make something. All right, now we're going to begin contact cementing all of our pieces down to our shield. So we're going to come in first. We're going to tighten our foam up. We're going to seal it real quick before we glue. Now we don't want to hit things we've stuck down already too hard. We don't want to separate the glue, so we're going to come in kind of fast. Just going to hit our areas like this. Okay, there's the first few pieces. Give it a few minutes. I'm just gonna come right into where our Sharpie lines are. All right, just going a couple pieces at a time. Wait a couple minutes. All right, there we go. As you can tell, we are not perfectly lined up on some of our Sharpie marks because as you're shaping foam and you're gluing it and you're putting it down, it gives a little bit, but we're in fairly good spot. So when you seal it, no one will know the difference. All right, here's our three circle details. We're going to cut them out with the X-Acto knife. Now we don't have to be super, super perfect here because we're going to be dremeling these into round details. Good enough. Now we're going to do these two. All right, there we go. We've got all three cut out. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming in with the Dremel and we're going to be rounding these off all the way around. We're going to try to make a half round out of these. All right, do not Dremel without your dust mask.
All right, look at that. That's totally rounded off. All right, look at the difference. We went from this square hockey puck to this nice rounded detail. All right, there we go. Check it out. Nice and round. There's all three. Give it a couple minutes. Use the tip of our X-Acto blade so we can get this right in the center. There we go. Nice and round. That has a very cool look. We are going to shape these last two details with the Dremel to make them beveled, just like we did up here. And we're gonna separate these first. All right, now we're going to probably cut these two outside long pieces on the bandsaw just to get started. And then the rest we're gonna have to use the Dremel for. So we're gonna go over to the bandsaw knock out these two outer sides and get on it with the Dremel. Okay, now we're gonna cut the rest of this also on the bandsaw, but without the table tilted. Okay, now I think because we've cut this out, we can probably hit here and here also with the bandsaw. See that right there? Perfect. Now we're going to do the same thing here. All right, there we go. We got our outside edges beveled and we were able to squeeze this inside edge in beveled. So now what we're going to do is what we did on our other detail. We're going to come in with our Dremel and we're going to sand these bevels down with the Dremel, which means dust mask. There we go, look at that. Sweet. Let's trim just a little bit of that tip off right there. Look at that. That is crazy. Look at that. Easy, we just went in and started carving out the corner and bam, we nailed it. Wow, was that cool. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing on that one. And then, all right, now we've got some little nicks on this thing here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with our quick seal, which is really great at filling in gaps and gouges. We're gonna come in we're gonna get it on here. See how it's kind of rough in this corner. We're gonna fill this in. Got some of our nicks filled in there. There we go. Not bad. Little nicks in there. Okay, that filled in nicely. All right, there we go. Now, what we did was we just filled in some of the gouge that we accidentally got in the corner. And when that dries and we seal the whole piece with Plasti Dip, you won't even notice it. All right, there we go. Give it five minutes and then bam, contact. 
super easy. We're going to line up at the bottom of this Sharpie mark. Now we've talked about this before. Sometimes when you're in the process of putting your marks down, things warp a little bit, especially when you're dealing with foam. All right, now we're going to come up here. We've got a couple A couple of those little nicks in the corners were kind of bothering me. So, all right, there we go. Now, again, these two areas here, here, and here will not be seen when we seal it with Plasti Dip. All right, now, the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to cut this whole outside off with the bandsaw. All right, there we go. Cut that. All right, now we have these seven little circle details that we have to cut out, and we're gonna be dremeling these to be round. So, just like we did the last time, we're gonna come in. All right, just like that. Now we're gonna do these two, and we're gonna do these four. All right, there we go, that's simple. Stand our knife up, pivot it around the circles, and there we go. And we didn't have to be too precise because we're going to be coming in with our Dremel and we're going to be rounding these off. Alright, there we go. Nice and rounded. Really easy. All right, now we're gonna take these little tiny ones and we're going to come in here with the Dremel and we're gonna just lightly round the top edge off on all four of these. You gotta be careful that it doesn't get away from you because if this thing gets away from you, pew, it's gonna shoot off like a bullet. Now we're gonna come in with our heat gun. Now little tiny pieces like this, you can't cook too much or they'll literally just curl up and almost disappear. So you gotta hit it kind of light. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna do the other three and it's time to stick all seven of them down. All right, we're gonna use super glue for these little things here. So we're gonna put a puddle down of super glue just like that. All right, there we go, the bottom's wet. We're gonna put it in, drop it right in there. That is a nice detail with the little rivet on the inside being rounded off, very cool. All right, now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna take these little tiny guys and do the same thing. We're gonna dip them in, get the bottom wet, Put it right on our mark, right there, right there. All right, there we go. That is nice. All right, now the last thing we're going to do is we're gonna come in and we're gonna go all the way around this outer edge with our Dremel. We're gonna slightly round it off a little bit. All right, we got a nice round edge all the way around. Just a nice little detail that keeps it from just looking so hard edged. And we're probably also going to come in with our 220 sanding stick. And we're gonna go around the outer edge because it has some slight bandsaw marks, but very easy. We're just gonna go around, do a little bit of light sanding. All right, now we're going to come in with our heat gun and we want to seal this whole thing. 
but like we've talked about before, you don't want to go crazy and cook anything because we don't want any glue separating. Now we're going to get the edges where we used our sanding stick. We definitely don't want to go too hot because we don't want the two pieces of foam separating. There we go. We've got all the pieces on it. We've got the edges rounded off. We've got the whole thing sealed. Now we've got one last little step and that's we are going to put another piece of foam sort of in the center here just to give it some more stability. We made our mark. Now we're going to come in with our contact cement. All right, there we go. There's that side. We've got both pieces cemented. Now we're going to give it a few minutes. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to stick these down. But what we're going to do is this, is we want to curl this up and we want to stick it just in the middle part like this. And then let's get some extra foam in here so it doesn't touch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold this side up and we're going to curl the shield up to here. All right. Now the reason we did that is that gives it a natural curve. And we're going to do the same thing over on this side. We're going to leave this side up and we're going to pull the shield up to the foam like that. All right, now we're going to on the edge. Okay, now look at that. See what that did? By sticking it down in the middle first and keeping the sides curled up and bringing the shield up to meet that piece on the back, now we have a perfect curve in the back. Watch this. There you go. That's exactly what you want. Just a slight curve and you saw how easy that was. Stick, we flip that around and look at that. That's got a cool curve on it now. Holy cow is that cool. That is jamming. All right. All right, so what we're doing is we're gonna be putting the straps on the back of our shield and we made our marks. And what this is, is this is right where we want the grip, right here. And then this is where the strap for our arm is gonna go. So those are basically the two areas we're gonna work with. All right, so we cut two strips of probably, is this four millimeter? No, maybe six. And uh, it's whatever you want. This might be six. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to use this for the strap that we grab on with our hand. And we're going to use this for the strap that our arm slips through. All right, so, all right, so here's where we want to mark. And let's get this the way we want it, right? there and then here okay so we're gonna come in right there all right now we know where we need to cement to get our hand grip started we're gonna stick this down and then we can come in and measure how tight we want to make it really easy stuff here all right super easy we're going to come in and we're going to stick it down. Now we're going to come in and we're going to measure. If we stick this down like that, we've got enough room to get our hand in. That's maybe not enough. So here we want to, let's see, if we go right to there, that we can get that in and we can grab it. Mark our end.
All right, there we go. Give it a couple minutes. Attach that right there. Perfect, enough room to get your hand in there and snug enough to hold. All right, now we're gonna come and we're gonna hit this side next. Coming in right onto our marks, just like that. All right, there we go. There it is on our arm, ready for fighting. Arm comes right out, that's it. Nothing difficult. And this is probably not the official historic way that straps on the back of a shield go, but that's not why we're doing this. We're doing this so you can have a jam and shield that looks cool and you can carry it into a festival or a con and no one's gonna give you crap. All right, and with that, our Hylian shield build comes to a close. Bam, there you go. That's uh, all together. Turned out fantastic. Um, everything went down perfectly just like we wanted uh man this was a fun build simple build but uh man this thing's an icon this was so fun building this um and uh no problem so that uh concludes making an eva foam hylian shield part two hope you liked it uh if you did give us a like share us with a friend and subscribe to this channel and together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.